Programmer here and welcome to this third edition of this Godot 2D platformer tutorial series. So in this tutorial we're going to just be creating some floors and platforms for our player to be able to jump on so that our player doesn't fall through the world like it is now. So this is how we left it off previously in our previous tutorial and as you can see the player is still falling through the floor just where we left it off and let's maybe just jump in now and start creating some floors and platforms. So the first thing we're going to be doing is to create a new scene which is going to be called platform which we'll use as a reusable object in our game scene and then we can place a few of those within the game scene just so that our player can jump on those. So let's start off with just basically clicking on the plus and creating a new scene. We're going to start off with a 2D scene as our root node and I'll rename that to platform. Next we want to bring our platform PNG into our scene. It's a little bit big and uh, we need to look at this in relation to the scene size here as well because it is generally related to the scene size. So what we can do is then just resize it ever so slightly just so that it more or less makes sense for the world. and Make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Okay, great. And then what we need to do is we need to add a static body 2D as well, which is going to just basically make sure that our platform doesn't fall or doesn't have any graphics, well, any gravity or anything applied to it. So we'll add a static body 2D to that. And then finally, you can see there's a warning here so that we need to add a collision. Uh, shape 2D as well. So add another child node called Collision Shape 2D. Right, great. So now we've got an error here or a warning because we need to create our shape for our collision. So we again going to use a rectangle shape and let's use the resize tool to try and just fill in our platform. Filling in our platform and that should suffice. So now we're just going to save this as platform.tsen and back in our game view we just want to make sure that we make this a, well a child of game not of player otherwise it will affect our player's movement as well. But let's just bring it into the scene so you'll see okay it's a child of the player so we can now should be able to move it around if we click on the move tool over here. Okay. Right, so I'm just going to duplicate this a few times so that we've got a few platforms to play with. Go on here, click on platform two and bring it in there. These platforms seem a little bit too big for me. So the great thing about having it in a separate scene is we can now go and resize this entire thing. Now we can resize it ever so slightly. And save that and it should resize our platforms over here. So our player is also a little bit big. Let's uh, bring our player down. So let's rather go and do that in our player to see in. And uh, resize our player down ever so slightly as well. Just to more or less fit the scene size. Let's see does that make more sense? It can go a little bit more. Too much makes a little more sense. We can still go a little smaller. It might that might look good. And um the base is to take our player out of the scene and bring our player back in. So let's just delete this node and bring our player back into the scene and resize our player to make more sense within our scene as well. And something like that. It's a bit um, sensitive. Okay, that should be fine. We can always adjust that later. Um, let's just create some more platforms again. Duplicate another one and move this one around. This one that's more or less on the floor. 
and then let's just arrange our player just move our player down here and we're going to just move these platforms around a bit just to make it a bit more sensible and uh, let's just do that and and bring this platform up slightly so we are going to bring our floor in now and then um, we're going to be tweaking that as well so move our player up again so that we've got a way of falling and then let's bring in the floor so how we're going to do that is we probably not going to have to create a entire a new scene for this but it probably is a good idea for you to do that but just to make this quicker I'm going to just bring it in quite quickly so I'm going to bring in the ground PNG here I'm going to resize it down to fit our scene yeah we can resize it bring it down bring it across yeah. zoom in again make it a little not as tall bring it in make it a little longer that's fine and bring it in here like that and then we need to basically create a static body 2d just like we did with the others and we want to create a Collision shape 2D. So bring that in, and we want to draw a rectangle again. And let's resize that. Fit our bring this up, okay, and then across. So I'm sizing a bit incorrectly there. Bring it down again. There we go. That should be fine. Um, you might want to try and make this as pixel perfect as possible because the larger player might seem weird. Okay, great. So let's uh, play this and see if our player still falls through our world. No, nope. player is now standing on the top of our world and doesn't fall through and collides with our platform. So that's that's basically it for this tutorial, guys. I'll basically uh, be looking at the jump and hopefully coin pickups in the next video so if you've liked this please subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so that you can get notifications of any new videos in future and please like as well if you really like this video and if you've got any questions or any queries please leave it in the comments below and great guys thank you for watching see you in the next video cheers